So in the 1740s, he proposed a new quantity which he called the action. It is mass times velocity times distance. His thinking went something like this. The farther something travels, the greater the action. The faster it goes, the greater the action. And if it's a particle, then the more massive it is, the greater the action. If there are multiple segments to the journey, then the total action is just the sum of the mass times velocity times distance for each segment. To see the principle in action, here is a super simple example with no friction or losses. Imagine a 0.5 kilogram ball is rolled over the ground for 6 meters at 3 meters per second. Then that would be 9 units of action. If the ball then bounces and travels another 6 meters at 3 meters per second, then the action for the whole trip is 9 plus 9 or 18 units of action. Now, what Maupertuis claimed is that out of all possible trajectories where the ball bounces off the wall, the path it will follow is the one that minimizes the action. 